right, uh, it is time for the one thing you should know. And um, Charles is with us and Ashley. Um, first, before we get into Gordon Brown, we gotta, you got to look at this. <laughs> you see this, Charles? I saw it earlier. The Dalai Lama arrived in Memphis to receive the National Civil oh, Rights yeah. Museum's Freedom Award. And there you have it. The mayor of Memphis greeted him with a tradition showing his holiness how to fist pump. <laughs> <laughs> It is the cutest but, but thing. I like, I like how the Dalai Lama got a little funky with it. You say, you know what? Let's add a twist to it, man. That's kind of boring the way you guys do it. Let's, let's add the dead yeah. crane or the flying swan. He did a couple of moves from the old school. I love it. I think it is so <laughs> great. That's what makes this country awesome. And that's why people love the Dalai Lama. You know, he can have some fun. Oh, yeah, he's cool. All right, Ashley, I want you to go to task. Tell me, what's going on between Gordon Brown and the President of the United States? Well... Yeah, it's interesting. In fact, all the papers have this. And you see, this is the Telegraph. And a fist bump for the Dalai Lama. We're going to give you the backstory on that one. And the Dalai Lama gets a rather <clears throat> unique welcome from the mayor of Memphis. Take a look. Here we also have a tradition. <laughs> I say you got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say hello, Dolly. <laughs> I'm what? sure he's never heard of that what? before. Uh, um, yes, he's fist bumping. The Dalai Lama was in Memphis to receive the National Civil Rights Museum Freedom Award. He seems amused. Yep. All right. Allie, uh, job well done. Thank you. Oh, knuckles, baby, knuckles. Thank you. Let's go over to shoe up Brian, shall we? Time now for Bennett's and Patriots. The Dalai Lama is the religious leader of Tibet, as you may know. He lives in exile because China is occupying that country. But the Buddhist monk is picking up some modern mannerisms. Here is the latest. He's fist bump. There it is. Dalai Lama fist bump. That in Memphis, Tennessee. We're not exactly sure why he's fist bumping, but we like his peaceful attitude, so it's okay with us. The Dalai Lama is a patriot. <laughs> On the Bennett front, the Guinness Book of Records is a new entry. Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live! Dalai Lama was in Memphis yesterday. He was there to receive the National Civil Rights Museum's Freedom Award. He narrowly beat out Mad Men for that honor. Um, <laughs> and Mr. Lama was greeted by the mayor of Memphis, Myron Lowry, who decided to teach His Holiness a distinctly American way of saying hello. We also have a tradition that we're using. All your fists, it's the <laughs> they say you got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say hello, Dolly. <laughs> it's funny, you know. That's why people don't like us around the world. You know he's a man of peace just based on the fact that he didn't punch him for saying hello, Dolly, for probably the 90,000th time in his life. Here's a story uh, from Florida. There was a guy arrested and charged with exposing himself. Uh, Dalai Lama's in the news. Yesterday, the Dalai Lama met with the mayor of Memphis, Tennessee, and the mayor greeted him by giving him a fist bump and saying, Hello, Dolly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, then when it, it, when it came time to say goodbye, the mayor slapped the Dalai Lama on the ass and said, Take it easy, Lama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> Lama Lama Ding Dong. Uh, this week, Amy Winehouse. All right, a uh, cocktail moment for you. Yeah. The Dalai Lama. Love him. Yeah. Uh, went to Memphis yesterday mm -hmm. to go to the National Civil Rights Museum, which is very cool. Okay. Uh, but it is not as cool as how the mayor of Memphis greeted the Dalai Lama in Memphis. This is amazing. Watch it. Here we also have a tradition. I've always wanted to say, hello, Dalai. <laughs> First, he taught the Dalai Lama how to do a fist bump. Yeah. Then he said, hello, Dolly. <laughs> God bless him, Mayor Myron Lowry. Very impressive. <laughs> Hardball with Chris Matthews is up next. Good night. This is your only source for news. CNN Primetime begins now.
Finally this, if you had a chance to greet the Dalai Lama, how would you do it? Well, Memphis Mayor Myron Lowry, he's going to go fist bump. Check it out. Let's give it a listen. Here we also have a tradition that we're used to. All your fists, oh, yeah. it's the bump. <laughs> <It's the bump. laughs> they say you got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say, hello, Dolly. <laughs> So not only the fist bump, but you get the bad joke as well with the hello Dolly <laughs> line, huh? And the jokes are for free. Yeah. All right, uh, Mike Galanis, that was good stuff. Thanks, Mike. And a little levity at a ceremony welcoming the Dalai Lama to Memphis, Tennessee. The city's mayor greeted the Tibetan spiritual leader with a fist bump. The Dalai Lama appeared slightly confused until Mayor Myron Lowry showed him how to return the greeting. Lowry then said, hello, Dolly, a joking reference to the 1960s musical, Hello, Dolly. The Dalai Lama reportedly was very amused at both the joke and the fist bump. So see, not always so serious. He has a great sense of humor as well. I well, wonder how many times people have said to him, hello, Dolly. Yeah. I know, he's heard it before. Thanks sure. very much. <laughs> Uh, book bash, a former uh, White House insider blasting Bush administration staffers. Hello, Dolly, the man who had the nerve to fist bump the Dalai Lama. Hello, Dolly. A southern mayor greets the Dalai Lama with a fist bump. The Dalai Lama has a good sense of humor. Check out what happened when he met the mayor of Memphis. Here we also have a tradition that we're using. All your fists, it's the bump. They say you got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say, hello, Dolly. <laughs> and he said it. A friend of the Dalai Lama says he took the fist bump very, very easily. He's in Memphis to receive the International Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. Did you know the World Beard and Mustache Championships? From NBC News, this is Today. And while visiting the U.S., Tibet's spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, was introduced to a new type of welcome from the mayor of Memphis Tuesday. Yep, the fist bump. You saw it right there after a couple of tries. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, got the hang of it. <laughs> you don't see that every day. It is now 8.06. Let's go back outside for a check of the weather with Al. Hey, Al. I love this next story. It seems like the Dalai Lama has a pretty good sense of humor here. Check out what happened when he met the mayor of Memphis. Here we also have a tradition that we're using. All your fists, it's the <laughs> They say you've got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say, hello, Dolly. <laughs> A friend of the Dalai Lama says that he took the fist bump very, very easily here, spiritual leaders in Memphis, to receive the International Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. It's the Jay Leno Show! Oh, hey, did you see this? The, uh... Yesterday, the mayor of Memphis, Tennessee, tried to teach the Dalai Lama how to fist bump. Did you see that on the news? No. You know, the Dalai Lama, wonderful man, but I don't think he's familiar. Well, here, take a look. Here we also have a tradition. They say you got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say, hello, Dalai. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he quite... That's, yeah, yeah. Well, the Los Angeles City Council has passed a new law that limits people in Los Angeles to one rooster per household. 